Our top story tonight, the Chief Justice of India today expressed his displeasure at both the government for refusing to confirm the name of Gopal Subramaniam as a Supreme Court judge and Mr. Subramaniam for his public reaction and questioning of the court's commitment to preserving judicial independence. In a scathing comment, the Chief Justice attacked the Modi government for segregating Gopal Subramaniam's name in a list of prospective judges without his consent and in a casual manner. The former Solicitor General was not spared either. Stung by Mr. Subramaniam's charge that, that the judiciary had not stood by him, the Chief Justice said, I will be the first man to leave this chair if the independence of the judiciary has been compromised. Meanwhile, the opposition says the government's move is illegal and unconstitutional, but the government is holding its ground. Citing past precedents, the government sources maintain that it has the right to seek reconsideration of a nominee for judgeship. Confrontation with judiciary is not a good thing for any government or for him for the judiciary and I think we must find some way and I would urge the Prime Minister to find uh, interlocutors who can go and talk to the judiciary and find a amicable way out. Well, the government sh should have shown respect to the Chief Justice and his colleagues who are members of the Collegium. The correct way was to discuss it. But the government has acted in an arbitrary manner. It was clear that the motives are questionable. Attacking the very person of Gopal Subramanian, who is known for his integrity. There is nobody who can doubt that. And we feel that that was very unfair. And Mr. Subramaniam's reaction, his letter of resignation, which found its way into the press, might well have given the Chief Justice a pretext to withdraw from supporting his candidacy and a quiz to the Modi government's wishes. The government is acting extremely cautiously as far as the remarks of the Chief Justice of India is concerned. The first word from top sources we have spoken to is that the government of India, the Narendra Modi government, holds the office of the Chief Justice of India and the Supreme Court in high regard and that the government will not like to join issues with the Chief Justice of India or the Supreme Court. It does not want to precipitate a situation in which it turns to be legislative, uh, the executive versus the judiciary. But it seems also that the government is holding its ground, is standing, holding on to its stand as far as Mr. Gopal Subramaniam's appointment and segregation is concerned. What top sources in the government are saying that this is not the first time such an segregation of a case of a name of uh, somebody proposed for a judge, post of a judge has been segregated. There are past precedences. There are past precedences not only the Supreme Court but also in the high courts in Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh, Himachal Pradesh and others. Top sources are also saying uh, uh, that uh, nearly three days ago the files regarding the reconsideration of the name of Mr. Gopal Subramaniam along with the approval of the President and the Prime Minister on the names of the three other judges was sent to, uh, to uh, the Chief Justice of India and there was uh, the government's attempt to ensure that the dignity of the Supreme Court is held in high regards. Uh, the government is also saying that the government's hands were also tied because Mr. Gopal Subramaniam himself opted out uh, as far as uh, the post-segregation uh, issues are concerned. The government sources are saying that not only there were precedents in the past, but as uh, early as last time in the last government, when Mr. Moili, uh, Virapa Moili was a law minister, there was an instance where at the last minute, uh, the, there was a similar case of segregation based on a complaint and there were doubts about the veracity on the basis uh, on the, of the complaint, on the basis of which the segregation was done. And that is why it seems the government, though, is being cautious, is trying to uphold the dignity of the Supreme Court and the Chief Justice of India. But somewhere, the government does not seem to be relenting as far as the case of Mr. Gopal Subramaniam and his appointment as a judge is concerned.